vlog. Um, I thought I would do a what's in my hospital bag vlog today um, and show you what I have put in there. Most of you know if you're watching this um, that I have already had a baby so I kind of know what to pack in a hospital bag but um, I thought I would do this video. I actually filmed it once and I hated I so much hated how my hair looked in that video, I decided that I was not going to upload it, which is a little funny, um, considering I'm like nine months pregnant. So today, I'm exactly 36 weeks pregnant. Um, this is a good time to pack a hospital bag. Um, it's actually a good time to pack a hospital bag when you're about 32 weeks pregnant because you just never know what might happen and I'm the type of person where I like to be prepared for everything. So let's get into it. A lot of people, especially first time moms, pack two bags, one for themselves and one for the baby. I'm not doing that because I kind of know what to bring. So the things that are not in here that I will be bringing, makeup bag, travel size toiletries. I don't have my shower shoes yet, but you should have shower shoes. Um, and toothbrush, toothpaste. So those are the things that I can't pack in the bag yet because I use them every day. Um, but it, when it's go time, I have a list and that's what I will be bringing. I will also be bringing, this is separate for me, uh, but I will also be bringing my vlogging camera, my computer, um, and a charging bank, like an extra battery for the vlogging camera because we'll be vlogging at the hospital which I will hopefully be able to just quickly edit and put up um, very shortly afterwards. Um, another thing that you need to make sure you bring a long phone charger. Uh, right now during COVID times you need to bring snacks because the snack cabinets are not open and um, a charging block for your phone. So those are the things you need to remember to bring. Anyways, okay, so now I'll do my stuff. So first and foremost, I got this cute nursing gown. It's a little wrinkly, but um, from my aunt. She was so sweet. She bought this for me from Etsy. Um, this is like a labor and delivery gown. So since I have a scheduled C-section, I won't wear this during the C-section when they do the surgery and all that. I'll wear it afterwards um, probably after the first day when you're able to get up. Um, if you don't know, right after a C-section, you, you can't get out of bed. You literally don't even get out of bed to go to the bathroom. You just lay in bed for a whole 24 hours. And then after that, um, they'll unhook you from everything and you can get up and that's when I will put this on. Just better for pictures, makes you feel like clean and uh, refreshed. So yeah, of course, fuzzy socks for the hospital because your feetsies get cold and it's winter. Um, so the outfit, you don't want to wear a gown home. Uh, you kind of want to put on your clothes that you, you know, would normally go out in or something like that. So I brought this nice nursing hoodie. My dad got this for me. Thanks dad. Um, it's so cute. It has these little pockets and it's a nursing hoodie. So it's really nice. Um, one thing I got for myself this pregnancy, uh, or this time around, is really nice nursing bras from Kindred Bravely, and then really nice nursing hoodies um, and postpartum leggings, which I'll show you in a second. So this is like a less supportive sleep nursing bra. I don't know if you can see it since it's black. It's super, super soft. It's like butter soft. Um, so that's really nice. And then I have some more supportive ones for at home, um, just the, the snap down nylon ones. First time around, I bought my nursing bras from Target. Highly recommend that you do not do what I did, which is wait until after the baby is born to go buy anything like that. Buy it beforehand. I thought nursing clothes were stupid. They were just clothes with holes in them and zippers essentially. Uh, I was wrong. You should definitely buy yourself some nursing clothes, some postpartum pants. You are not gonna wanna wear pregnancy pants after you have a baby. 
and they're just not supportive enough. Um, you need something that kind of holds you in a little bit and makes you feel a little bit more secure, especially if you have a C-section. Um, because the scar, anytime it moves, it's very painful. So it's good to have postpartum clothes. Um, and speaking of, these are blanky. Can you see that? Uh, postpartum nursing leggings. So I have some blanky pregnancy leggings, which have a little room for the belly. They're very nice, but I decided to splurge and get lots of pairs of these. Um, and you can see they will go all the way up to here, which is great after you have a baby. You definitely do not want to have a baby and then have the leggings that come to your belly button. It's too painful. It's too much. At the end of pregnancy, your uterus is all the way up here, so it's shrinking. It's just, trust me, you want leggings that come all the way up. And blanky leggings are sold for moms. And so they come all the way up in their compression. So they kind of keep everything together. That's my outfit that I will just have on when we leave the hospital. So I have some normal clothes on. Um, another thing I got for myself, um, the hospital, the birthing centers tend to be, they don't tend to be super chilly or anything like that. However, I wanted this robe to wear it's a nice hooded robe i got it at marshall's and how cute is this it says best mom on the back i don't know if you guys can see that it's really hard to see but it says best mom i'm not shy i know i'm the best mom and then i can also wear it at home um when i wake up in the middle of the night and need to nurse and just want something like cozy to keep myself warm in um Hooded blankets or hooded um, plush robes are great for middle of the night feedings um, if you're watching this and you're preparing for that. Um, the other things for myself are just toiletries and then I'll have David pack us snacks and if I want like um, sparkling water or juice or something like that I'll have him pack those as well because they I don't think they offer those unless you're getting something from the cafeteria. For the baby, obviously, we have the car seat. It's the same one we used for Dawson. It's not installed yet. It will be very soon. Oh, that's different. So now for the baby stuff. So you saw, in, if you watched my baby haul video, you saw the two knotted gowns that I have. So I have those. I do have a preemie outfit in here and I have that just look how tiny that is it's so so small uh, baby is actually probably already too big for this so I'll probably actually just take this out um, because I'm pretty sure baby this is meant for like a four pound baby a uh, four to five pound baby and I'm pretty sure this baby is already like six pounds by now so he'll fit in newborn stuff Okay, so I do have the two knotted gowns. If you remember this one and this one, these are great for hospital photos. They're great for snuggling in the hospital. I'll use them in newborn photos. Then we've got his two little hats, little top knot hats. How cute is that? And then little mittens. Um, even though these clothes have mittens on them, sometimes you, you never know, you might need them. Um, and then one of his newborn outfits doesn't have mittens, so we'll put these on if we need to. Um, I'm not going to show you his newborn outfits because um, I want it to be like, kind of like a surprise, I guess. David's coming down the stairs if you hear that. Okay. Um, I'm bringing this pacifier clip, which I showed in my baby haul video. Not because a newborn needs a pacifier clip. Hi. You can come in here. You heard Nugget. No, I didn't hear Nugget. Oh. Gosh darn it. So to go lay right down. He was yelling for you. Oh, it is too early. So you want to turn that up or something? I'll turn it up when I'm done with the video. Gosh darn it. I hate when toddlers nap an hour and a half. No, sir. I need at least two hours. 
Anyways, newborns don't need pacifier clips, but it's cute for photos. That's why I'm bringing it. Photos. Bring me half of this stuff because of photos. Okay, the bibs pacifiers that I showed in the baby haul video, bringing those as well. And then these little pacifiers, which I just love. They're Tommy Tippy. And they're so cute. This is what Dawson liked when he was little. So I'm bringing those two just in case these are really not a hit. Um, for baby as well, I got baby a nice new plush blanket. Oh, look at that. I just got it from Target. I just thought it was really cute um, and would keep him nice and warm and cozy while we're there. I also got this. It's a newborn little bunting suit. Um, the outfits that I have are not super duper warm. And so uh, he's, he's going to be born in December. Um, and so we need something warm to bring him home in his car seat um, if we need that. Because you can't like swaddle them and put them in the car seat. Um, I also made this. For if I want to use it, I have a chalk pencil, so I just drew these on um, so that I can ha announce his name in like a cute way. I don't know if I'll use it, it just depends how I feel at the time. Um, that is pretty much all you need for baby. I'm also going to be bringing a blanket, so like a nice plush blanket to like, you know, hold up my arm for nursing or... Um, just keep us really nice and cozy or whatever. Um, you don't need a lot for the baby in the hospital. Um, the reason for that is, if you don't know, they provide, the hospital will provide me with anything that I need for postpartum um, that's not like shampoo or conditioner or whatever. Like they'll give you pads, they'll give you disposable underwear, and they, um, they have diapers and they have uh, all kinds of things at the hospital for the babies. They really don't need that much. Um, you can bring, if you're getting your little boy circumcised, you can bring your own Vaseline and little, um, like little strips, but you don't have to. Um, they, they normally have those types of things there. And so I might pack those up. That's pretty much it. They don't need a boppy. They don't need toys. Uh, you, you don't need a bottle or formula. Even if you're choosing to formula feed, you, you don't even need that because they will have it. You can bring it if you want to, but you, don't, you certainly don't have to. They have all that. So you really don't need to bring very much except some clothes and, you know, if you want a pacifier. For whatever reason, it's really hard to get a pacifier in the hospital. But that's it. That's all I'm packing. That and toiletries and snacks. That's really all you need. Um, and then, you just don't need that much when you're in the hospital. Um, I do highly suggest buying yourself, like, your own gown. Um, and having it be, like, a hospital-type gown. Like, this one has the snaps at the top and the back. I suggest that to... To you new moms I suggest something like this not like a nursing nighty or anything like that I suggest and not like cutesy pregnancy pajamas I, I just don't think they're very practical um so that's what I had last time oh and I got my nice hospital bag too I got that from Marshalls as well that's it I'll do a bump date uh, this week and get that edited out um because I haven't done one since I was 20 months pregnant um, and that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.